thing that I will say to you that you can expect as you work in this particular way is, is healthy or happy disappointments. Yeah. Healthy or happy disappointments. And it's related to ego power. Your ego has got an idea of how I'll control it, how I'll make it happen, how it'll look, etc., etc. When you work this way, you let go completely and what you'll notice is something is not good for you, it'll fall apart. So you might meet somebody and think, oh, this is the right guy for me, etc. And suddenly it falls apart. And you're thinking, oh, I'm disappointed, etc. But you must be happy, disappointed, because it means something better is coming your way. If you have planted the seed of your vibration, and you are fully in that reality, you've opened in consciousness, you are receptive, and if things start falling apart in your reality, then understand something better is coming. Don't look at it and say, oh, I'm so sorry, I'm so sad, I feel so bad, look what has happened and dwell on that. Recognize this is coming apart for something better to come in. Like, I'll give you two examples. One is my laptop. I was so comfortable with it and I could have continued with it, it was more than a few years old and I would carry on, take it everywhere to Cape Town with me, open it up in the workshops, plug my machine in and all that. And I would, in the workshop, I would say, right, let's focus on progress and this and that. And, and one day the laptop screen ceased and refused to work. And next thing, series of coincidences, I got a new laptop, high processing speeds and all that. I got that. Same thing happened with the phone. I had that Blackberry, it was a three or four year old phone or whatever it is. And suddenly the thing is packed in. Now I got a new one. But the thing is, how the new thing comes in is easily, effortlessly, it's flowingly, no strain, no stress, and it just comes in in a way that's comfortable for me to have it, and I progress. So, that's how the creative contractor works. When you actually put out a vibration and you're at the right frequency, and you holding on to things because the ego has got used to it or comfortable for it and won't move on, the creative contractor will come in to take it apart so that something else can be built that is better for you. So it's a good idea that you look at disappointments as happy disappointments because if I had what I thought I wanted, it wouldn't be as enjoyable as this is. So when I had my old laptop, it had about 120 you know, gigs of space. My new one's got 500, you know. When I had my own phone, I could do a few things. Now this thing is like, compared to where I'm coming from, um, it's happening, you know. So, it's, um, so there might be a loss of the old computer and familiarity, but the new one, I can run three, four operations at the same time. It's got a it's very advanced processing. The new phone, I can do video calling, I, you know, I can watch uh, YouTube videos, whatever it is on the phone and uh, but yeah. you know so the old one would be like comfortable but it's not as happening as this one so I expect that as you shift your vibration things will fall apart and when they fall apart be cautious of falling into despair around it know that I'll be better off not just in a trying to make yourself feel better kind of way but yeah I got the new laptop that's really happening, you know. I got the new phone, it's really a new happening phone. And if I had the old one, I'd be familiar and comfortable, but I wouldn't have this level of extended satisfaction and fulfillment in my life. So, you want to recognize ego power and what ego power is and how it's an obstacle.